On this episode of Pit My Gun, we'll be using the mag of holding and dead wire detonators on the new Jack Salvo aftermarket part for the CAT AMR. This turns the sniper rifle into a rocket launcher that fires anti-material explosive rounds. Let's go test it out. So this is definitely one of the cooler aftermarket part ideas that we've had so far, but from what I've used a little bit, it's not that great. I don't want to poop on any parades or nothing. But uh, when I got this unlocked, you know, I had to go try it out a little bit while we we're streaming. And from what I saw there, it wasn't that impressive. But I'm going to give it another try here. And we're going to see if we can't find a way to make this thing useful. But like I mentioned in the intro, this thing is explosive. And if you go ahead and shoot it at the ground, it's going to explode. Real surprising, right? Uh, you will need PhD with this if you plan on shooting it anywhere near where you're at, because as you can see, I am taking some self-explosive damage. So just for my safety right now, I'm going to go ahead and activate that. And against a group of zombies here, actually, this is a good amount. Hold on. Let's go ahead and throw down a decoy. And let's go ahead and hit him with a shot. Took out a good bit of them. Not all of them, but a good bit. And now let's take it for a spin over here in tier two. Let's see what just the splash damage is like on this guy. Not doing a whole lot. It doesn't seem to really like armor. Like, armor seems to be explosive proof. So let's go ahead and shoot another one. Still didn't kill anything. And let's try to direct impact some of these zombies. Ooh. They're not liking it too much. Now let's scope in on this guy and hit him with it. It knocks him over. But it's not killing. Which is really disappointing. And you can probably guess how this is going to go against some tier 3 zombies. But let's go ahead and try it anyways. Uh, let's get these guys all grouped together. Is there a fully armored zombie in this bunch? There is, right here. Let's try to hit him. Nope, completely missed. Hold on, zombies. Go back to the decoy. Leave me alone. And let's try to hit the group of them right here. And knocked them all over, which, I mean, might have a use. But as you just saw on the health bar there of one of the zombies, it really doesn't do that much. I'm going to need a thermite here. Please stay away. But all that was just splash damage. Let's try to direct impact a zombie. Oh, we can take out a hellhound. Let's go. And onto this zombie right here. It's still not doing a whole lot. Wait, they all just ignore me for a second? They're feeling pity for me. Stay back. Look at look at how little this is doing. Oh, he's actually kind of close to dead. I don't know how that happened. He must have ran into our thermite earlier. But either way, not looking good for this gun. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here before they uh, put me in the ground. And now that we've seen it unpack a punch and unupgraded in all three tiers, you can see we only have three bullets in the mag and 36 in reserve. So let's go ahead and pack a punch and upgrade it. It goes to six bullets in the mag, 60 reserve, which is not a whole lot. I guess it's a decent bit for a launcher, but I don't really have damage like a launcher. And we can also see the reload speed on this really quick. Let's shoot a few shots, hit the reload, and it's kind of slow. I, I feel like some LMGs might be faster than that. But with speed, Cola, let's try it again. Take a little drink, shoot a little shot, do a little reload, and... Uh, not too bad, not terrible, but I think the reload is like the least of our worries on this gun. But before we go ahead and use MAGA holding and the dead wire detonators, let's go ahead and try to take out a tier two bounty. See if we can get another self revive and get some money for some perks. And I can show you guys how this weapon performs without them. So where's our disciple at? This one's kind of going to be tough to take out because I feel like the accuracy on this is not that great. There's a little bit of a delay from when you shoot to when the actually bullet gets there, like it's not hit scan at all. So if there's like any slight movement by whatever you're aiming at, it has a really good chance to miss because it's not as large as an RPG rocket. Ooh, you see like right there, I was not that far off, but it still went right past them. But the, the rocket is not as large as some other rocket launcher. So you really have to be super accurate to what you're hitting. And the damage doesn't look insane right now. Like it's not absolutely terrible. It's manageable, but it's definitely killing them way slower than uh, some other weapons would. But go ahead and give me that in dead shot. That's perfect, actually. Let's just do a few more of these to make sure we're prepared enough for tier three. Come here, Mimic. Does this do decent against you? Eh, it's all right, I guess. I feel like you mainly kind of want to use it like a shotgun, just an explosive shotgun. And the movement speed on it feels like it's pretty slow. We don't have stamina up yet, but this Mimic is really hawking us down. He is in hot pursuit, and he's right on our tail. So if you could go ahead and die for me, please, that'd be great. It actually seems a little bit difficult to try to hit his crit point. Like, I, I'm not seeing the yellow hit marker pop up that much. We got it on our last shot, but all of our others, it's not hitting very accurately. But he's still dead right about here. 
And one more bounty should just about do it. And actually, this is perfect. We get the trifecta of elites. We get to go against every single type of elite here. And when I use this on stream, the mangler was the one I went against first. And it didn't seem to do that great. Like, look how little damage it's doing per each shot. And like I mentioned before, it's almost like armor is explosive proof. And it's also kind of making them dumb. Hello? You know that we're even here? It's like giving him CTE. I've rattled his brain so hard he don't know where he is. And the armor, I just want to point out, is still not even broken on him. Like he's so unbothered by this, you don't even know he's being shot. But I think he should be about dead right here. Or right here. There we go. Like that still seems like far too many shots for a explosive sniper to take something out. I honestly think explosive ammo on a sniper might do more damage. Now let's go ahead and grab the rest of our perks and give this another try in tier three. Wait, I almost forgot tombstone. Now we got a big group of zombies here. Let's go ahead and shoot a rocket into them. Did you guys see any kills pop up? Because I didn't. In fact, if we look at their health here, it's barely doing every anything, even to that zombie that didn't have any armor on. Like, I don't know if this is just a bug in this weapon doesn't scale with Pack-A-Punch at all. I mean, it seems like it does. Maybe it's better if you're hitting crits with it. But with how slow this thing shoots or the time in between shots, how fast these zombies move and just how like long it takes for a rocket to actually get to where you're shooting. I don't think it's worth it to sit there and try to line up a crit. You're probably better off just shooting at the ground. Like, it's honestly kind of mind blowing how bad they made a rocket shooting sniper. But that's where Maggle holding and dead wire detonators come in. So let's go ahead and throw on our Maggle holding and our dead wire detonators. And now we'll go against some zombies here. Let's go ahead and do some more splash damage. Dead wire detonators goes off, at least on most of them. Doesn't seem to kill, but it does take them out of the game for a bit. Ah, uh, no, it did kill them all. Took a while though. Doesn't seem to be activating on all of them, but it definitely makes it a bit more lethal, especially against elites if I can actually hit it. There we go. Now, I don't think it's going to kill him, but he is going to take a decent amount of damage, not bother us for a little bit. And then he's, you know, back to business. If I shoot him in the cannon, that didn't even really do a whole lot. And that's his weak point. Like, this is just stupid. At least it broke his armor a little bit. But look how many shots it takes to just kill a mangler here. And the worst thing about using Maggle holding on this is that you still got to bolt the weapon back. Like having an infinite mag is great, you know, no reloading. But every time you shoot it, you're still bolting the weapon at the same speed. So you don't increase your fire rate at all. But there is one more thing I want to try with this. I want to try to clear out these uh, Aether nests and see if we can find Shatter Blast so we can get Deadwire Detonators to go off a little more frequently. And it might actually do a bit more damage, but we're actually having a hard time breaking the spores with just a single shot. It hit markers the cis. Honestly, I'd say this might be a good support weapon, but even then, I think the Stormcaller might be better than this in terms of uh, just slowing zombies down. This thing's kind of an embarrassment, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, and so am I. Damn. It's all cleared out. Shatter Blast, please. Nope. But the worst part about using Deadwire Detonators on this and like basically any other gun is that it won't affect any HVT elites, only normal elites. And even then, don't kill very fast. But that did not have Shatter Blast in there. Let's uh, try to find another nest. And apparently a side effect of using this weapon is having terrible luck. Cause I've gone to maybe like six, seven Aether Nest, still have not found Shatter Blast. And in this one, I can't even complete it. Cause when I shoot at this, it does nothing. It doesn't do enough direct damage to actually take that out. This thing's invincible. Can the Scorcher do it? Not looking like it. Can I get it with a Breacher drone? Nope. What about a Semtex? Nope. Okay. That's how you want to play it, game? We'll play it your way. I'm bringing in a Jug. Give me this. And this nest is getting completed right now. There we go. Please have Shatter Blast. You gotta be kidding me, dude. This is absurd. This game is actually working against me right now. This is ridiculous. I shouldn't have said what ammo mod I wanted. Oh, an insta-kill? Would actually make this useful. Still can't insta-kill assist, though. Oh, with seven minutes and 30 seconds left in the game, 
found me found shatter blast they really don't want me to think this weapon's good at all they don't even want me to to witness it at its potential best now we can finally give it a shot against a tier 3 hvt and i don't even care what it is at this point oh it's a mega bomb all right we'll see how this can do what's up abomination can this literally do anything against you let's find out it's literally it's tickling the health bar it's not doing anything oh did we break the face though oh somebody else came up and shot him I think he might have just got bored of uh, trying to shoot at me. And against these zombies here, is it doing that much more? I think we can get uh, dead wire detonators to go off at least a little bit more frequently. But besides that, I don't even know if we could take out this abomination if it wasn't for this helpful Harry over here. We shooting another laser and it's still doing a whole lot of nothing. And now he's just sitting there biting this disciple. This is awful. We got three people shooting at it, and look how little its health is going down. Same with the Disciple doing damage to it. I think the Disciple is just beating all these weapons in terms of damage. I actually might shoot all 66 rounds of this before this thing dies. And it's not even doing a, a chunk of his health at all. What? He is dead. So I guess that's got to count for something. And we get Shatter Blast. First reward. Whatever game. Let's see if we can get another try. Please give me another Mega Bomb. Oh, it's a Disciple. Weak. Can we even do anything to this Disciple? Oh, let's see if we can actually hit him. Oh, low ammo. We can run out of ammo with it. You guys want to drop me any? No. I guess let's restock and try again. So after one shot, doesn't even stop him from healing. Oh, we have to hit him directly in the hand. But he has... Almost no health taken off of him. This is going to be a struggle to kill him. Because I feel like all the damage we're going to do to him, he's going to take right back. We really got to get that mask broken or get Deadwire Detonators to go off on him, which I don't think they will. Pretty sure HVTs are immune to it. But boy, howdy, are we going to try. Can we even get his mask broken? Nope. Not unless we hit him 400 times. Which is seeming like a struggle to even hit him once. Come on, buddy. You know you want to go down. Stop healing, please. I don't want to be fighting you for an hour straight. Look how far the rocket goes from this. Like, it almost goes off on a delay, too. It's so weird. This has got to be one of the more, like, weird and, and weak aftermarket parts that we've seen. But here comes the storm. Let's see if we can kill him before the storm takes us. Come on, buddy. You know you want to go down or at least have that mass break. I've hit you with so many shots. Something's got to give. Please. Oh, did it break? It made the sound like it broke. Nope, I might have just stopped him from healing. That might have been the sound I heard. Oh, is it broken? Oh, it is. Are we even doing that much more damage? I don't think so. Stop healing. Let's try to hit a headshot. I saw a little bit of the yellow hit markers letting us know that we hit a crit. And he's moving just enough for me to miss my shots. Stop. Knock it off. We don't even have him to half health yet. Well, we might have at some point, but he's healed it back. And now he's flying away. Stop. This is actually, this thing is like kryptonite. Cannot do anything to him. Stop healing. Please. This is a, a war of attrition. And he has the upper hand. By a lot. Can we at least take him out? Please. This is ridiculous, dude. This is actually insane how bad this is. Did I actually blow his hands up? Why is his hands gone? You don't have hands. This disciple's a double amputee. He's still kicking my ass. I'm trying my hardest here. I don't think our, our hardest is enough. Our hardest is still too soft. This gun needs Cialis now. Like you know how on the, the old Pack-A-Punch logo it used to show like a ray gun that was limp? That's really what this gun is. It's a limp ray gun. And this isn't even the first sniper we've gotten in this game to shoot explosive rounds. Like, most snipers just have the explosive ammunition, which is really nice. But the Morse sniper rifle gets this actual, like, almost rocket-like ability when it's pack-a-punch. This, don't get it when it's pack-a-punch. You need a whole attachment for it. And it's still not doing that well. I don't think we've gotten less than half health yet. You have to Aether Shroud and hope you don't fly away so we can get some decent damage on him before he can heal. And he's right back to healing. Awesome. Sick, dude. Great. Fantastic. This is so bad, dude. This has to be a bug. There's no way they wouldn't even try this in zombies. There's absolutely no way. 
And from what I've heard, it's not even that great in multiplayer because trophy systems will stop the rocket. I'm actually going to start throwing nades at you. That's going to do more damage than we could ever do. Oh no, and he healed so much back. It's so Jover. It's never been more Jover. I'm going to be so pissed if we actually get him low and then the storm comes up and heals him. What do I got to do? Huh? Show me where and I'll kiss it. I feel like I'd be hard pressed to find another gun in this game that performs worse than this in tier three. Like this is just absolutely abominable. No snowman. Actually bring snow in here. Cause if I could use those snowballs from the Christmas update, I could probably do more damage than this. You can't even really see the damage happening on the screen. I think all the zombies in tier three might hibernate before I can even get close to killing him. It's just gonna be me and him. The only two entities on this map. Like when I heard that they added an aftermarket part that is a sniper that shoots rockets, I was pretty hyped. I thought, oh dang, we're gonna get a really good aftermarket part. They're gonna give us some some good stuff here to end out the game, you know, in the final season. I don't think it's happening. I think this is actually doing storm ender level damage. Oh, and here comes a storm. Let's try to keep track of how much health he's at right here. And you know what? I'm using the scorcher to end it. Can a pack one scorcher do more damage than our sniper can? Maybe. I can't stop him from healing though. I guess that's one thing it's got over this. Let's try again. Oh, this is ridiculous, dude. Okay. All right. Let's watch the health go back up. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Dickhead. I'm getting out of here. We're going to leave before the final X bell even shows up. You win. Enjoy uh, your rule of tier three. I'm canceling this contract. I think we sat there and shot him for at least 15 minutes and didn't even get close to killing him. So you can probably imagine how that fight would have went against the abomination if people didn't show up to help me kill it. This is a weapon that even when fully maxed out on damage, kind of peaks here in tier one. Tier two, it still can do a little bit. Like it's still usable, but it's not that great. And in tier three, I think it just might even be a liability. Like, there is not a single good use for this weapon, I don't think, besides maybe killing a large horde of zombies, but only if you got, like, dead wire detonators. Because let's throw a decoy here, get all the zombies that we got, all put into a little pile. Let's, ooh, big packet burst. Oh, keep bursting. But all these zombies right here will shoot one shot. I got 160 XP for that, and it's double XP right now. So that means I killed, what, four zombies? Four zombies with one shot of this at pack three. Legendary? That's ridiculous. We got 280 there, so I mean a little bit better, but I'm I'm finding it real hard to see any positives with this weapon. It absolutely has to be messed up. There's no way they intended it for it to be this bad. Like, why even make that the part in the first place? Let's get out of here. This thing is ridiculous. So overall thoughts on the CAT AMR rocket launcher, this thing is dookie. I don't think there is a worse gun in this game. I really hope sometime in the, in the near future, they uh, go ahead and they buff it. You know, they put out a little patch saying like, oh, this is not doing as much damage as intended. Uh, we're going to make this good and it's going to be a fun weapon. If they do end up patching it and buffing it, I will revisit it because it's a very fun concept for a weapon. But as it stands right now, this is not worth using. I would not take this into anywhere. Maybe if you're just going to sit in tier one and farm out like, I don't know, the mastery for the cat AMR, it might be a little bit better. But even then, just use the normal cat AMR and then maybe grab Shatter Blast if you can find it. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.